Hi everyone, it's Karen again. I'm going to attempt try number 153 to give you a glimpse of my craft room now that it's clean. Um, when you walk in my craft room to the left, this is all my 12 by 12 cardstock that I store in these two towers. Um, it's great because I can see um, what colors I have and what colors I need and what I'm running out of. They're easy to grab too. Um, above that are the two shelves that my hubby put in on his vacation. The bottom one is um, they're nice because I can fit two layers thick of my cartridges. Um, and these are where I keep just the shape ones, the font, and some are unopened, and those are for challenges and other fun things we'll do. Um, up on the very top is my Zyrons, all the different sizes. And then coming straight down, I have a bookcase that holds my uh, Zutter and my Cinch. And they're best friends, so they sit together there. Um, below that is just some different embellishments and tools and, that are in cases and um, whatnot. Below that's my 8.5 by 11 um, cardstock. Um, below that is 8.5 by 11 cardstock, uh, 12 by 12 extra cardstock, and... Um, my mat stacks are in there also. And the bottom are just the booklets um, in Christmas and different subjects like that. Die cuts with a view and cane company mostly. Um, let's see. Down here is where I keep my um, scraps. And I put them in these folders and I tuck the um, cover down. And they're just re really easy to get to. I can see the colors. I can grab them. I just find I use them a whole lot more now that they're more accessible. Um, this is my craft fair draw. Um, everything that I would use, um, you know, to make stuff for a craft fair goes in this draw. That way I know where everything is. Um, up here I just keep my cuddle bug uh, embossing folders. Um, these are my cubes. Yes, people, the cubes that fell one night and threw all these buttons into a frenzy. So they all separated, hung back up, and now they look pretty. Um, these sets of drawers right here um, are all my stamps, the wood-mounted ones. I'm trying to change them all over to the acrylic, um, which I love better. And I found a company on eBay that sells the foam mounting and it's a lot cheaper than the name brand and it I think it works a lot better um, so anyway this is my stickles and my um, the no hold beads I love those they look so pretty on cards there's some glitter and some flocking and um, peach cane stamps more stamps and decorative scissors and over here down here is just um, pictures I need to scrapbook. Here are um, adhesive dots, foam dots, extra adhesive tape, all that stuff. Here um, I just keep a few tools that I use all the time. They're easy to grab. Um, up here are two more shelves that my hubby hung up. This is my um, my alphabet, whatever you call them, font cartridges um, and some that I haven't opened to save for prizes. Um, I also keep my Cricut Light and my Cricut Imagine cartridges there. Up the top over there are just um, chipboard letters in different colors and shapes. Um, two empty ones, I'll have to fill those. Um, down here I have some more flowers. These are just um, stock stuff that i got to figure out where to put. Um, I just keep my cutters here. My Crafter's Companion I absolutely love. I don't know if anyone has that, but I do love it. And magnetic stamps and different size cutting boards. Um, let's see, this is felt. I do a lot of felting. A little snowman. Uh, some more tools. And these are all uh, sticker ABC letters and that one too. And rub-ons. Um, this is extra glue, extra tape runners. These are... Um, glue guns. I don't know why I have so many. I think I lose them, buy one, then I find them. Um, this is all clay making stuff. This is uh, Flower Soft and the uh, three that are down 
Here on the bottom are all cards and envelopes. Um, that's a picture I do of my daughter. So beautiful. Um, these are books that I love and I can't get rid of. Okay, around the corner we have my little home sign that I made and some bags that I made for Christmas that are extra. And I'll turn the corner. My dog is sunning herself right now. So we'll just walk around her. And um, these cubes all collapse into each other, but I keep my flowers in there and um, bells and all that kind of fun stuff. Up here I have more flowers. Um, up here I have my canvases, glass jars for altering, and some different embellishments. More flowers. Um, my felt borders. These are stamps that I've already taken off their wood mounts. Um, some candles I've made in the Christmas jar. And my paint. Um, this white cabinet is all sewing stuff. Then I have my embellishment wall, which I love these. I got them on QVC. They tilt out. You can grab what you want. You can also take the whole thing out and take it with you to your table, which is great. Um, in here is all zatter refills. These are all metal frames and embellishments. Down there is vinyl. These are all everything. Um, that's Anna Griffin. These are all Tim Holtz draws. It's all there. Um, the middle ones are all glue refills. These are jars with um, bottle caps, grommets, and this is a tree I bought at um, HSN. And I was going to take the frames from the Tim Holtz line and put um, my children's pictures, my sister's kids' pictures for my parents' 50th um, anniversary. And then I saw these cute ornaments when I was buying the Christmas ornaments that were hearts. So I did the same treatment with the glitter it and did hearts. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll make her some ornaments that she can hang on with the pictures for all different um, occasions. So we'll see how that goes, how much I get done. Um, in here is just embellishments, paper. Um, oh, people, do not judge. You know you all have this draw also. Um, more bind and wire and all that. This is my cake decorating stuff. This is um, patterned paper. More patterned paper according to subject. Um, more tools. This is my ribbon rack that I made all by myself with real power tools. Um, it was real easy to do, and I will show anybody who's interested um, how to do that. And those cans all have extra ribbon in it that needs to be put up. And here's my sewing machine. Um, these are all of my um, hand punches. They go all the way down. Um, and then these other ones is, let's see, nothing. Uh, up markers, cricket markers, all that. My expression. And we come around. Sorry, my hands are shaking. Too much caffeine, I think. Um, and this is where I sit. I keep my ATG guns here. These are things that I use every day, so I keep them right at the top. Um, I use my Copic markers, so they're close by. Um, gel pens, more markers, uh, pencils, and oh, my Martha Stewart glitter, and um, mica flakes and all that. Oh, over here I have uh, more Stampin' Up! markers. Oh, and this is my tip of the day. We had to buy a new dishwasher, and before they took the old one, I um, took this out, and the, it's the silverware tray, and I use it to stack stuff. I just pull it up, put it on my table, and I'm ready to go. Um, over here, I don't know if the sun's too bright, but this is um, all my Stampin' Up! stamp pads, my alcohol inks, more stamp pads, more stamp pads my perfect pearls and some flocking and stamp pads oh, I'm really shaking that um, I haven't opened yet so anyway that is a general view of my very clean craft room so I'll just give you an overall from my kitchen and it's just clean so thanks very much and let me know if there's anything that you wanted to see
Have a good day. Bye.